what is coil stock? Well, stay tuned and we'll show you. All right, friends, so coil stock is painted aluminum, essentially, in a sheet. It comes in a roll. You can get it in smaller quantities, smaller sizes. This one is 24 inches wide by, I believe it's 50 foot long. So it comes in a box. This is 24 inches by 50 feet. You're not supposed to use it on treated lumber. The treated lumber interacts with this and it deteriorates this coil stock. So you don't want to use coil stock on treated wood. You use it on non-treated wood to cover that up and make it weatherproof. So when you open up this coil stock, it's coiled. So the way to handle it is to take a little clamp and you can clamp this coil stock then it's not going to uncoil when you take it out of the box. So I'm going to cut this box and then take it out. Most of the time it's taped, but I wouldn't count on that tape being totally secure. So that's why I put a clamp on it before I open it. And then I use that clamp as I'm going along. See that? See how the tape just gave way? But it's not going to uncoil now and unroll because I have it clamped here. So this is coil stock. It's just sheet aluminum. You see it's just a sheet of aluminum and we use it on our exterior applications where we want to cover up some, um, some exposed wood. A lot of times it gets used on fascia cover or on your soffit underneath. I'm going to actually use this to bend a profile and cover up a soffit that does not need to be vented. So I'm not gonna use vented soffit. So this is coil stock. You cut it with snips or you can cut it with a utility knife. So if you mark it and then use a straight edge, you can use that utility knife to cut that line you have scored and then you can kind of bend it back and forth and break it also You can use big snips, and these are what I typically use to cut something like this. If it's a short, um, a short run, if it's a long run, you can see I had the metal brake here. If it's like an eight foot section, I will put it in the brake and then use that straight edge of the metal brake to score it with my utility knife, and then I'll bend it and break it. So this is coil stock really good useful prod product um, it's not cheap but it's a good product now uh, I'll tell you a little funny story about this when you store it store it somewhere where it's not going to degrade the box or where rust is going to get on it this won't rust because it's aluminum and it's painted but if you have something where it's the side that's rusty that rust will get on it and you know it will change your change the color of your bright white to something else so I had this stored in a barn and I picked it up and a friendly little mouse was on that box that I didn't see, jumped on my shoulder and on my back and so I yelled because it startled me and I threw down the box and so this might have a little crease in it, hopefully not, but we'll see. And threw down the box, brushed off my shoulders and thought, okay, compose yourself, I'm okay went to go pick up the box and then the mouse jumped off my shoulder. <laughs> I yelled again. So when you store this, you can store it in a barn. Just make sure it's not going to get wet and maybe just kind of move it a little bit before you pick it up because our, your friendly mouse might call it a home. So, Hey, thanks so much for watching folks. Thanks for the view. This stuff is not the cheapest. So um, be careful when you use it, not to, just start cutting and waste it. Make sure you measure twice, cut once.
Make sure you work hard, folks, because hard work is its own reward. Thanks for watching.